Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be examining one of the most adorable fruits in the series, the Inu Inu no Mi Model Dachshund. The Inu Inu no Mi Model Dachshund is a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a Dachshund, as well as a Dachshund human hybrid. It was quote unquote eaten by a gun, actually, a gun that post consumption went on to be called Lasso, and made its first appearance in the story during the Alabaster arc. And just on that whole gun eating a devil fruit thing, yeah, look, at the time of this recording, we don't actually know how inanimate objects are able to have devil fruits inserted into them, but we do know that it is the elusive Dr. Vegapunk who made this phenomenon possible. This fruit derives its name directly from the Japanese word for dog, which is Inu, although in this case the model is quite interesting, if only for the fact that the word Dachshund is such an unfriendly German word to attempt to transcribe into Japanese vernacular, and so it ends up being Dokkusunfunto. As for the realm of English translations, we have another one of those weird choices happening, where both Viz and Four Kids decided to call it the Mutt Mutt Fruit, with Viz adding the Dachshund type onto the end of it. And this is sort of like the issue we had with the Tori Tori no Mi being translated as the Tweet Tweet Fruit, however it's a bit worse on this occasion because the word Mutt denotes a dog of mixed breeds, whereas this devil fruit clearly turns the user into a dachshund. It's also a bit odd because Mutt isn't an automatopoeia like Tweet, and so you'd think that if four kids wanted to keep that theme going, then they would have made it the Bark Bark Fruit or something. Regardless, once more, this issue is rectified in the Funimation dub, we take the simple and pragmatic route of calling it the Dog Dog Fruit Model Dachshund. Absolutely perfect. Alright, so dachshunds have been famously described as half a dog high and a dog and a half long, and generally known for their comic appeal, so we're not off to the greatest of starts with this fruit. The benefits of adopting the characteristics of a dachshund primarily come in the form of increased sensitivity in the realm of scent. Dachshunds were bred to be a scent hound dog, and thus have fantastic abilities in relation to the art of tracking. Interestingly enough, dachshunds were also bred to be hunting dogs, and are in fact the smallest canine hunters recognised by the American Kennel Club. They were used primarily to hunt badgers, so that's something to consider I guess. If you are up against a person who used a badger type Zoan fruit, then the user of the Inu Inu no Mi model dachshund should have a historical advantage. Sadly, the dachshund is far greater known for its disadvantageous nature, particularly due to its elongated form. Sadly, dachshunds are very prone to slipping or rupturing discs in their back, which can result in partial or full paralysis. Furthermore, due to their short and shiny coats, dachshunds are not particularly tolerant to cold weather at all, which is why we always see photos of them wearing adorable sweaters. I should also point out that long-haired dachshunds do exist, but with the evidence we have from this fruit, we can only conclude that one would become a short coat. And with all of that in mind, I find the idea of using the pure beast form of the Inu Inu no Mi model dachshund a very very risky and not at all particularly beneficial idea in any way. However, I can see these conditions improving significantly in the human beast hybrid form. I mean, at best, I imagine one would achieve a form similar to that of Duke Inuarashi, which wouldn't be too bad at all. You're essentially you, but you've picked up incredible scent related abilities and more than likely a keen hunter's instinct. Sadly, if this is the best thing I can say about the human beast hybrid form, then uh, well, it's, it's not looking very good, is it? Perhaps we can remedy this by taking a look at the specific use of the fruit by Lasso. So first of all, remember when I said dachshunds don't do too well in cold weather, well Lasso is a prime example of that, having been capable of contracting a cold on the desert nation of Alabaster. Not exactly known for its cold weather, but it happened anyway. As a result, Lasso appears to have a perpetual cold, which is very dangerous because we also need to remember that he is a gun, and so whenever Lasso sneezes, he fires an explosive baseball. I suppose it doesn't have to be a baseball though. Lasso could in theory sneeze up any ammunition given to him, it's just that his master Mr. Four prefers to go with the baseball motif. Honestly, the best use of the fruit by Lasso is that it allows him to become a living breed being. Without it, he'd just be a gun. And how boring is that? As for any form of awakening, look, I'll be real and say that I pretty much expect the result to look like this. Essentially, you're going to become a big dachshund, which is pretty amazing, but of questionable utility. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a dachshund human. Dachshunds can be quite notoriously difficult to housebreak, so if you're the kind of person who already has difficulty knowing where to defecate, then I do not recommend consuming this fruit because it will not help your case at all. A user of this devil fruit will also have to be extraordinarily vigilant of their weight, as any extra kilos will put an incredible strain on your already fragile sausage-like back. And finally, on the upside, during World War II, Nazi scientists claimed that they successfully taught dachshunds to speak, read, spell, and even communicate telepathically. And while that's entirely unlikely to be true, it does does provide some hope that maybe one day the user of the Inu Inu no Mi model dachshund will have access to an ability worth consuming the fruit for. So yeah, what we have here is basically quite an undesirable Zoan fruit. To a human user, I absolutely do not think that the abilities acquired from consuming the fruit outweigh the extreme detriments, as activating your dachshund self at any point would put your body in far too vulnerable a state for it to even be worth engaging in. However, if you did end up with this fruit, then I highly recommend taking it to Dr. Vegapunk and seeing if he can craft a pet for you out of the object that of your choice. And with that, we are going to commit the Inu Inu no Mi model dachshund to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia.
Next week we are going to be thoroughly investigating another much more useful Zoan type fruit as we delve into the underground world of the Mogu Mogu no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds also going directly to support the channel. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Inu Inu no Mi model dachshund. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.